So I was watching this YouTuber, right? And he was like, he's like he's one of these new kids that are like making YouTube videos. Yeah. And man, this nigga was posting like a brain rot like meme every 10 seconds. Like, and I was like, and it was like a commentary. But he was talking about a subject. And like, I, I could not follow anything what this nigga was saying. Like, he, this nigga could, <laughs> I was like, because it would just be like memes and shit. It was like, like, I would be able to understand his video much more if he was literally saying skibbity the whole time, bro. I'm telling you, man, we're getting too old. You're 28 now. Yeah. I'm 22. It's, it's over, man. Uh -huh. It's over for us. But you're fucking old. <laughs> I don't believe everything this nigga says, okay? <laughs> All right, guys. That's guys, wild. Guys. How are your weeks? You know how, like, boring my weeks have become? That now something fun will happen one day, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna say this for when Santana asks what was the highlight of my week, because this is like the best thing that's happened to me all week. <laughs> and it happened to me last night when I was opening a package, and I was trying out some lip gloss. Nice. Dude, there's so many fucking ants at my house right now, I don't know why. You sure they're not termites? No, they're ants. But I think it's because I left something out. In your room? Like, can you see them right now? Yeah. Oh, damn. There's not a lot, though. There's, like, there's just... Some of them are just crawling around. I'm like, what the f why the fuck are you here? Just but I think I know why. I think it's my fault. Yeah. Do some food out? I left a cracker out. <laughs> mm. But it doesn't make sense because they like sweet things and this shit's salty, but like they're still here, so. I mean, them niggas will eat anything, let's I be think honest. A grain of salt will kill an ant. That's true. You know, a grain of salt will kill a slug. Really? I feel like a little more than yeah. a grain, depending on how big the like, slug is. True. But like, yeah, yeah. like, I'd be seeing them niggas. Like when I was a kid, I used to like enjoy fucking with snails. And so, like, I just like just draw salt on them for just enjoyment. Dude, snails are yeah. snails are ugly, man. Disgusting. They're just they're, I don't understand their existence. Like, <laughs> I, I, how do they I survive? Don't, really? I don't, they move at zero speed an hour. Yeah, they're like, literally they made can't. of like ninety nine percent water. I think the reason why is just because nobody wants to eat them. I feel like birds <laughs> don't even like eating them, bro. And, like, them just niggas are like niggas. They only eat them if they have to, bro. They're so yucky. Like, like you know what I mean? Wants to eat them. <laughs> yeah. No, when I was little, I never understood why people didn't just like come together and like fight for an, an, a species to be extinct, you know? Because there's animals that are only pests, you know? They yeah, don't like do anything. Mosquitoes, you know? Yeah. And I was like, I mean, why are they still are around? Used, I mean, mosquitoes are used as a form of food for other animals. Other animals eat, they eat uh, mosquitoes, but like also mosquitoes do transfer a lot of diseases. Yeah. yeah they're okay, but mosquitoes. I'm gonna be so for real. When I was little, I got lice once, and why the fuck do we still have lice? Like, why is this a necessary thing? Why have we not eradicated it from the fucking planet? Why you know what I mean? Oh, well, well, I don't know about that, brother. I've never gotten lice because <laughs> I'm black. I don't have the, I don't have that struggle because like lice don't like black people here. That is true. You know, really? Like, that is true. They're racist. Yeah. They're racist. Yeah, they're, they're racist. Bro, <laughs> as a Mexican, they fucking love us, especially all the girls with like long ass hair. They're racist. <laughs> the are racist, bro. Mm, well, they're racist. No, yeah, it's the hair type. Yeah. Because yeah. y'all are silky smooth and mine's. They gotta like. They got work for that. Yeah. Shit. And they're like. <laughs> I know, I They'd rather like starve than eat you, Abel. Yellow. What? Uh, I think somebody's in the room with him. Oh. You've never gotten lice, Santana. Nah. I feel like the majority of people haven't gotten lice. I guess it's mostly girls. Yeah, girls do have more hair to work with, so... <laughs> also, my hair didn't really start getting long until, like, high school. Before that, it was, like, my mom giving me, like, short haircuts. Mm. Do lice really not like black people? Abel, apparently, uh, black people still can get lice, but it's just less common. Yeah, you're not immune to it, man. But either way, you have that buff, so... <laughs> Anti-lice buff. Alright, guys, do you guys remember where we were? Being the rest of the poems, because we already read Sayori's, right? Yep. Right where we were, right here. Okay, okay. All right, guys, who are we doing? Uh, see, okay, Sayori's poem was long. Uh -huh. And should we just get through a bells? A bell, who do you right. think we should do? I think we should do uh, Yuri. Fuck it, let's just do Yuri, yeah. And then yeah. we can go Monica and Natsuki. Okay. Who the fuck is Natsuki? Oh yeah, the midget. The midget, pink midget. I think I have a thing for short people in a very bad way. What? Oh, Bro. Jesus Christ. What? I mean, like, as in, like, I hate short people. That's what I meant to say. Like, I have like a disdain for short people. That's what I meant to say. Bro, Abel was was saying like, 
who was uh, Natsuki. And when I was looking at the characters, I was like thinking of who's voice acting them. Uh -huh. So when he said Natsuki in my head, I was like, oh, me. And then he said, oh, the midget. And I thought he was like fucking like, attacking <laughs> me for some reason. <laughs> Bro. No, apologies, but no, if I was going to attack you, I'd say your full government name. There's no way you fucking know that. There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> What's her full government name? I'll say it. Yeah, say it. Hey man, I can't. I, I don't got the. I don't got. I can't be exposing my knowledge. Oh, you, you know can say it. <laughs> say it. Okay. What's her full government and then name? I can crop it out. It's okay. Yeah, I can crop it out. I don't fucking know. Like, I know for a fact I can find yours though. Jessica Gonzalez. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? That's actually racist. That's Jessica racially motivated. Oh, okay. really? Are you all ready though? It sounds right. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, wait. <clears throat> <laughs> Let's see what you've written for today. Ah, oh, bro. <laughs> I, I need a smoke or something. I can't get that feminine out of me or whatever. Let's see what you've written. Oh, too late. I already sipped it. Uh, <laughs> hmm, hmm. Well done about... Ah, oh, so weird to say my own name. It's literally in a feminine voice. voice. Uh, nigga, like... It, it just sounds like I get no bitches. I. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, Abel. Your skills have been approved. Your skills are already improving. Really? Oh <laughs> my god. I'm cringing so much right now. <laughs> it's just Abel talking to himself. <laughs> you know, I do this on a regular basis. <laughs> Thanks, Yuri. Coming from you, that means a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> you good, Abel? You good? I'm trying to separate. I, I want, I'm <laughs> trying to separate myself from in my head, bro. I'm like, I'm just trying to be like, I'm talking to just a random person. I'm just talking to a random person. I'm not talking to me, because okay. that's so weird, man. It's nothing. Happy to help inspire a fellow writer. I know you're new at this, so don't worry so much if it seems if it seems like you can't get your poem to feel perfect. You don't need to be afraid to. You don't. Uh, <laughs> you don't need to be afraid to be a little more daring. Metaphors can go a long way. Don't feel like you need to work your brain like turning a bunch of gears. Try letting your mind wander through your feelings. And write down the things you see and hear. Okay. That's one way to truly enable your reader to see in your, to your mind. Alright. It's very intimate exercise. <laughs> I see. <laughs> <laughs> I see. It's, just, it's so weird to switch from that to like my normal voice, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on, man? I see. I see. Nah, I see. That's a certainly interesting technique. Thank you for sharing. I have um, oh. uh, an example of that if you'd like to read it. Of course. Is this the poem you wrote for today? Yuri nods and timidly hands me her poem. Oh my god. Abel, you're gonna be able to read this? Uh, oh fuck, I am not looking forward to Monica's poem, bro. That's just gonna be three pages long. <laughs> Nigga, I, 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 I'm really bad at cursive. All right, let me try this. Yeah, that's why. That the raccoon. <laughs> it happened in the dead night while- well, why, why are you laughing? Oh, you want me to- Wait, guys! You what? know what happened? What? I saw a possum at my house. A possum? Yeah. Was he playing dead? At night. No, it was just walking around in the garden. Oh, uh, you know, I yeah. almost hit a possum like a month ago. <gasps> and it, it's the same yeah, guy. ah, man. Yeah. Dude, it's me, same I, was guy, driving Yonis, dude, I was driving Jonas's car, and it was when he was here, still here. And then, like, I was just going down the hill. It was the dead at night. And then all I hear is this nigga scream, Wee! And then I slam his brakes, and you can hear his, like, his brakes, like, dying for that bitch. And I'm like, What happened? He was like, And he's like, You almost hit that. Because he, he thought it was a cat. <laughs> and I was like, oh, what? And, and I was like, what, a cat? And I look, and I see the most disgusting, oversized <laughs> rat. And I'm like, and I'm like, nigga, that is not a cat. And he looks at it. He was like, oh, my God. Ew. He was like, and I'm like, nigga, you really fucked up your brakes for a goddamn possum, nigga. Bro, <laughs> Whatever possums are was. so and cute. Like, and they make great pets. Nigga, they live for like a span of two years, bro. They're just oversized rats. No, 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 no. They're good. They're super clean. They're great. Yeah, pets. that looks clean. That looks clean. That looks like it they has are. Eight. They can't carry disease. They can't carry rabies. They physically cannot. I, I, They're I great animals. I said AIDS. That nigga look like he got AIDS. Bro, <laughs> bro what? No. 
Not and they play dead. <laughs> <laughs> terrible survival mechanism. That shit works though. I don't know how it works though. You have to be a monkey to think he's actually dead. Like, yeah, the nigga was just alive. The fuck? I just, you know, just eat that nigga up real quick. And it's like, ah, I don't Easy have meal. to kill the nigga. Yeah. Light work. <laughs> Easy meal. <laughs> it's like somebody cooking up my dinner for me. I'm like, ah, oh, that's what's up. <laughs> it's, you know, it's just like, the raccoon. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by scattering of a raccoon. Uh, by the scattering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, my subconscious well aware of the consequences. Well aware that the raccoon that it, it is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread my hunger, curiosity, the raccoon, and urge, urge. Yeah. urge. I, I was like, what the fuck? I thought I said wage. Wage? <laughs> and <laughs> and <laughs> raccoon and wage. <laughs> I was like, she think about money all the time. I, <laughs> the moon inseminates in cinema. <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> 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 Wait, what? <laughs> Oh my god. That's crazy. <laughs> 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 it's the moon increments the phase and neglects that much more light off of my cutting knife. Wait, does that say this very same Does it say reflect or neglect? Or wait, what did you say? Reflect. Reflect, right? Reflects. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The very same light that glistens in my eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread fresh and soft. That raccoon get becomes excited. Whoa. On perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto a newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken the following me. Has taken to oh, oh the raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. Fresh, a rush of blood. Classic... Pavlovian. Pavlo Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. Nigga, I I cannot read cards. So that shit goes insane. I, uh, <clears throat> that shit goes insane. Wait, wait, did, wait! Did you say all that in the female? <laughs> no, I didn't even realize yeah. you did that. But but here though is um is she using the raccoon as like a uh like to project her own feelings onto the raccoon maybe? Well, she said okay. So in the end, Especially we can realize the that right. Maybe she's like maybe you could say that she's calling herself a raccoon because she speaks of guilt and whatnot. And so, like, when she goes out, she's eating. I don't get it, nigga. It's, it's, <laughs> and I feed myself again. When she says I feed myself again, that means she was feeding the raccoon. So she's the, the raccoon, raccoon is a part of her. Yeah. No, no, no. She's the raccoon. What do raccoons represent? Trash. Trash okay. Uh, dumpster diving. No, it represents. Oh, she felt guilty for eating the food. So I don't know. She's like, it's something. Well, look, school, like honestly. scroll a little bit up where it says, um, the bread and my hungry curiosity and the raccoon and urge. So I guess the raccoon might be like a, a bell. You said like guilt and like trash or like something as a trash. So maybe like, I guess a part of herself that she doesn't like, but she keeps feeding it bread out of curiosity because like she wants to see what's going to happen, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't think this is That's literal. actually think, a good uh, interpretive. No, no, no. She, no, that's not a letter. Well, she was the knife. Hey guys, I'm cooking. Yeah, because she's... Wait, and it's beauty. Yeah, I don't get it. She, luckily, Yuri's going to explain it. Because he always oh, yeah, does that Yuri. shit. <laughs> She'll probably go off on a tangent and not realize. See, she calls the knife a symptom. Dude, I want some carne asada, man. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking hungry too, Abel. Um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, 
but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. <laughs> That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. What, making absolutely no fucking sense? Uh, no, I shouldn't be mean. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it to face value, then I can't even figure out what's it supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. That sounds like you pulling shit out of your ass, nigga. <laughs> I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. See, I told you. It's the sort of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself. Interesting. So, I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? But because... Oh. They're embarrassing. And people would make fun of me. You don't have anything like that, Abel. Well, <clears throat> yeah, I guess so. Uh -oh. I do. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. This is the second time she said this. You just remember to uh, say that everybody has a little devil inside of them? Well, uh, did you said a little donut. A little <laughs> <laughs> Are you hungry? <laughs> yeah, I'm starving. I might order something. <laughs> a little donut. The best we can do is respect each other and our individualities, even if it's difficult sometimes, and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. Hmm. Is this you, Abel? No, I mm. fucking love myself more than anyone. Fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I might be ranting a little bit now. No, Yuri, keep going. Please don't, I'm tired. <laughs> but I'm glad that you're a good listener. That's it? Okay. Alright, we'll save the midget for last. <laughs> Fuck! <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, how are you gonna build? Um, how are you gonna... Oh, fuck. <laughs> how are you gonna build? How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon, you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure. Here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Hm. All right. It's pretty good. <laughs> mm. <laughs> this is the second time she's pointed it out. It makes me think of Sayori, like the other one that you wrote. You two are like the dynamic duo. Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, that's kind of an exaggeration. Yeah, probably. It's not. But you do spend a lot of time with her, even in this club, don't you? Mm-hmm. Then again, I don't blame you for being a little shy. Ooh. <clears throat> teasing him. Oh. I'm not, sh I'm not shy. It's just... <laughs> I'm just teasing. I know it takes a bit of time to make friends with everyone, but Yuri and Natsuki are super interesting people, so don't be afraid to give them their share of time. Okay. That's interesting. Is that like the game telling us to, uh, you know, <laughs> be with them too? I get, that yeah, feeling. Right? I get that feeling for some reason, you know? Now we're focusing on Sayori. Yeah. Fuck you, Sayori. And you, oh. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> what? Every now and then too. I'm not, like, unapproachable or anything, am I? No, nah, no, it's nothing like that. I'm just getting used to being here. That's all. Yeah, I'm sorry if I was putting pressure on you or something. I really didn't mean it like that. No, don't worry. I get what you're saying. Well, all right. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. All right, let's take a look. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms. That's a weird cue. Squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, 
tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless. What? Yeah, that's why I don't like poems. Poems are like, <laughs> honestly, like, they just get, I'm like, dude, when you write a really good poem, you kind of honestly understand that shit low-key kind of sad. You know, good poems are like, they, they just. Well, what? Load me. Uh, Damn, good uh, for her. Wait. I don't think. Like, phys- I, I think that's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want, wait, I kind of want to click, but I don't want to click. <laughs> Fuck it, do it. Do no, it. no, no, do let's, it, let's do that once we, uh, once we do this. <laughs> Alright, so... What does this mean? <laughs> oh, wait, that's like a... Something's gonna pop up at the bottom? Is that what it means? Like... Uh, uh I don't know. Because when I see this, right? <laughs> so when it says the colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing, red, blue, green, blue. And then this... I can't say it right now. I don't know whatever coffee of meaningless noise. It's kind of like um. Oh, I think about that. It's like there's like a whole bunch of shit going around. It's like yes, it's beautiful, but like it's kind of like it does it look when you look at it just flashing around. It's like it's all meaningless, you know. You know what shit, this poem know? reminds me of? I what? think this poem would be like a great uh kind of it's just like about. I don't know if it happens to you guys, but you know when you close your eyes and you see like a bunch of like shit just like moving around and like <laughs> colors and shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm I like that's what this reminds me of. Like it's a bunch of like it looks cool. There's a bunch of shit going on, but like it's like kind of meaningless, you know. No, 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 Santana. And it doesn't make sense. You know what I? Santana, remember that one movie about the daughter and her dad that we watched? Uh oh, After Sun. Yeah. Yeah, after yeah. sun, and remember, um, I remember where they were in the club, and it was just flashing yeah, colors yeah, yeah, type yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the kind oh, of okay, vibe okay. that's yeah, yeah. that I related. Just imagine, like, remember all those colors that were going on, like that's like kind of the type of thing that's going on, and it's like the meaninglessness when you're in that type shit. That, you know that's what I'm a saying? Very good, um, oh yeah, Bell, actually, yeah. Have you seen after sun? Bro, no. This is a good ass movie right here. Very good movie. But dude, yo, I want to eat the chocolate cake shake at Portillo's. I heard it's super fucking good, man. What? There's chocolate they have a, it at Porto, chocolate shake cake. It's at Portillo's. It's like in Chicago or some shit. Wait, what are this? And I from? want it so. <laughs> I, I was just, I, I was scrolling through my hugging. phone in, and I got and I because like uh, I was when I was in Vegas for some reason it gave me that ad, and then like I've just been like, but it was like super far away. It was like 139 miles or some shit. And I'm like, bro, do you expect my fat ass to drive all the way over there for it? Like the fuck? And I almost thought about doing it. Oh, my God. All right, bro. You're just hungry, though. (laughs) Order some food. Okay, I'm going to go down. What does this mean, guys? Load me? Like, is she literally telling the main character to load her? Like, that's kind of, you know, that's kind (laughs) of, that's a little, you know, straightforward there. (laughs) I mean, that's nice. I, I like it if people were more straightforward. I mean, somebody straightening straightforward with you. You know, people be like nowadays they're all convoluted and are like, uh, da da da, hide and type shit. You know, but like, be straight up with me. Say you want me to do that. I'm just joking. That sounds so weird. For <laughs> real? Uh, what? What? <laughs> Wait, about what would you do if a girl came up to you with a note that just said "load me"? What would be your first thoughts? Uh, well, actually, I'd just be like, get away from you, creep. But like, <laughs> you know, yeah. you know, okay, yeah. cause that's just weird. No, you know what? That, that's, enough. Real. that's enough of this conversation. I'm going to click load me and uh, well, whatever happens, happens. Did you what click? Happened? Oh, okay. Why don't you just load her in game? I mean, no. I mean, like, why don't you load <laughs> <What>? the game? <laughs> like, like, okay. Because it could be like, like save the game. You think so? I don't or think so. We'll, ju- we'll just play it. We'll, we'll play the game just normally. And whatever ending we get uh, is whatever ending we get. I don't even know if there is different endings. Yeah. But that's that's interesting. I, I doubt Monica means to literally load her in the, you know, the way we're thinking of. Hey, you don't know that. <laughs> hey, if Monica's freaky, I guess. <laughs> yeah, what if she's a freak? She might be you know? freaky like that. <laughs> it's crazy. Hmm. You think he's gonna mention it? Like, what's what's that at the bottom there? Yeah, what is that? I hope I, I hope he mentions it. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. 
No, I never said that. It's just a kind of thing I really never seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Yep, we noticed. Choosing where and how to separate... Oh, shit. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of a poem. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh... There's a pretty big space between the poem and the thing she wrote at the bottom. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. What do you mean, I see, nigga? Like, <laughs> you should be asking, what the fuck did you mean by load me, bro? Like, I'm still wondering. <laughs> like, the fuck? I see. No, no, I, I... If this had happened to me, I would save that until the end of the discussion. To see if she mentions it first. Because no. I have no clue what that could possibly mean. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about. What? Uh, it's still hard for me to tell what's a what what is this <laughs> it's still hard for me to tell what it's about though oh. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question what mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I <laughs> okay it's uh it's a horny uh, what's week it trying for Monica, to... maybe? We're about to see. I get it. Poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling. Or a conversation with a reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's... <laughs> here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes, you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. And... What? Uh, I don't like that. <laughs> Guys? Yeah, nigga, you better save the goddamn, Guys? save the goddamn game, nigga. Save the goddamn wait, game! Wait, wait, I don't get I it. I don't like that. Wait, wait. Were we supposed to do what Abel said? Wait, guys, guys. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's a load button, button at the bottom. Yeah, I could just save right now, but guys, what does that mean? Nigga, it means what it means. The bitch is sentient. She knows what's going on. She's hearing me now. <laughs> eh, I don't know. Wait, don't forget. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Uh, let me let me turn on the light. Hold on, I'm scared. <laughs> Wait, Wait, does anybody, does anybody else take the controls? <laughs> uh, Wait, oh, were we able to load during the poem? No, 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 because uh, this this wasn't here. Wait, I'm kind of scared of pressing a uh, save. Honestly, what does she mean when that happens? Don't forget to save your game. Hello. Wait, can we can we pause real quick so I can open the window? <laughs> yeah, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> okay, I'm here right now. a pussy fuck, man. <laughs> the more scared she gets, the more scared I get, man. Guys, this is bad. <laughs> Just think about it. This wouldn't make any sense for her to say to him, you know? Like, if she's talking to a bell in universe, right? Mm -hmm. What could she possibly mean by that? There's no way this is in universe, bro. She's fucking looking at us or some shit. She's looking at you. I don't want to say the game. <laughs> what happened to six save, bro? Uh, I don't know. Ah! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yes. Oh, Wait, what happens if you press load game? Oh, that's it's, just the things we've yeah, loaded? It's just, yeah. You already saved that bitch. Also, what is that sound I'm hearing? It's like, it's like, do you guys hear that static? Yeah. Is that one of your guys' mics? Or is that the fucking game? Uh, I don't know. Oh, Maybe I think it's Bell's mic. I think that's Bell's mic. <laughs> uh, I didn't know there was static. My bad. No, I didn't it's, hear it's, shit. It's so. like very Wait. faint, so I couldn't tell if it was one of you guys or the... And it's also like... Only but that shit just one. started, though. No, no, it's been... It's just not I, about... I heard, it, I heard it a while ago. Oh, okay, okay. Yo, I don't, I don't, I, I'm a presenter, and hey, whatever. Guys, has the closet always been open? Has there always been a chair in there? Back there, yeah. I, oh, wait, actually, oh. that's a good question. Yeah, it's always been open. It's, it's always been open. Okay. All right, here, let's, uh, you know, let's, there we go. Yeah, you know what? A little more. There we go. You know what? Fuck it. A little more. All right, we're good. All right, you guys ready? Mm -hmm. Oh. You never know when you might change your mind, whatever the fuck that means. Or when something unexpected may happen. Mm -hmm. Wait. 
Is this even a tip about writing? Why does she look confused too? Say something, Bell. I don't know what's going on. No, I was talking about in game, like in game, Bell. <laughs> what am I even talking about? It, Monica has always given off the vibe that she's like, like the ringleader, but like also like a like a weird sort of vibe, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, I don't know how to describe it. Like she knows more than she's letting on. That's the sort of vibe I get from her. Yeah. <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Uh, Abel's not gonna say anything to her? Hello? <laughs> not me. Well, cause uh. she wasn't talking to Abel there, she was talking to us. <sighs> Guys. I don't know how I feel what? about this game. Fuck. Hmm. Well, it's not really any worse than your last one. But I can't really say it's any better either. Fuck you, bitch. I was just being honest. If you stuck at writing, you stuck at writing. I'm not fucking jealous. Phew. Huh? Phew. Phew. What's... What? Ah, uh, well, anything isn't a train... Anything that isn't a train wreck, I'll take the win. And if I get the feeling, you're probably be... Ah. And I get the feeling that you're probably the most critical. She's not gonna like that. <laughs> what makes you... Wait. Maybe that was a compliment. Wait, why can't we read inside of her mind? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know that. It's not the first time that's happened, though. Bro, now I hear the static, bro. I didn't hear anything. No, I, I can hear it now. I think it is me now. I'm pretty sure this is not the first time we've seen inside uh, Natsuki's head. But it's only her for some reason. Back. No. What were you about to say? No, no. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know what it was. Going what were, wait, 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 wait. What were you going to say? I, I, I already said it. <laughs> that's crazy. I don't know, I, I sort of got me. It just sounded like gibberish. Mm. But I'll see when I edit Fucking... it. Fucking. Mm. Oh, also, let's try mm. to uh, let's try to keep the uh, the hard R's down because uh, I haven't said any. They're a pain to to edit out. I haven't said any <laughs> no, hard. No, no, I'm just saying, just in general, you know, for the future, for the future. Wait, when you say hard, when you wait, wait, when you mean hard R, do you mean re or er? Did, no, does no, that... like like hard R N word. N word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, you too. Try to keep it down. What the fuck? When have I ever said that? <sighs> <sighs> well, I didn't even read that. Okay. Well then, <laughs> keep talking. <laughs> 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 uh, My bad. Well then, keep practicing, and maybe you'll be as good as me someday. <laughs> this fucking girl. Mid nigga. That's uh. Something tells me that Natsuki completely missed the point. Come to think of it, this kind of reminds me of Sayori's poem for yesterday. Ooh. Yeah? You think so? Yeah. Well, I guess if you've been friends with her for so long, you might be on the same wavelength. Interesting. Is this our first time seeing her smile? <laughs> I don't remember the last time she I smiled. I think so. She's always pouting. I, yeah. Oh! But you never really struck me as her type. Oh, shit. Say more, say more. Sorry, has a type all of a sudden again? <laughs> <laughs> well... I don't know, but honestly, how can someone so uh, fluffy spend so much time with someone like you? Ooh. Nigga, because I'm the fucking goat. <laughs> <laughs> it's like she's dragging you around with a dead weight. Oh my god. Uh, That was a little unnecessary, nigga. <laughs> but think of it this way. If it weren't for me, she'd probably be just flying away and letting go of a balloon. A couple, oh my god, what, how did I read that, man? <laughs> but think of it this way. If it weren't for me, she'd probably just fly away like letting go of a balloon. God. You could say we each take care of each other in our own way. Why is this fucking about saying how he's like so good for her only when he's being attacked? Like, you know what I mean? I mean, yeah. like what... Uh, I mean, I'm being attacked. The fuck, I have to defend myself, nigga. But she's right, though. <laughs> I right. I just because somebody right don't mean I want them to be right. The fuck. That means you have to reflect on yourself. Fuck no, I hate reflecting. I hate reflecting. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh, yeah. I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem. I don't want to <laughs> read it, bitch. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, Dude, I love yeah. her handwriting. Damn, it's your old book. Yeah. <laughs> book. Okay. Uh, Amy, what the fuck is Amy? Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? 
Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I heard I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if she doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. This world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm going to tell everyone. You toxic bitch. <laughs> For real. I agree. But obviously the spiders are a metaphor for something else. Yeah. No, I think it's just spiders. <laughs> what if that's like No, because remember her last poem was about animals and how like it's more than like, you know, and what it's literally being written. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. The spiders can be a metaphor for something that's like actually like truly like disgusting. But it does sound really childish. So I don't know. Who's Amy? I don't know. Yeah, this bitch toxic. <laughs> She said, I'm going to tell everyone. Why are you going to put her on? Oh, no, it is childish because it says, like, it doesn't hurt anyone. So it's not, like, bad. She's just a fucking hater. Yeah. Yeah, she's just low-key hating the nigga. Like, don't get You know what off. this is reminding me of? What? Like, Yuri's poem. How it's about her, like, doing something, you know? And this one's like, I'm going to tell everybody. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, you have, like, one person who's like, oh, yeah. Like, we told her, like... Nah, why would anyone like yap about what you like to do with you know, whatever? And then you got Natsuki here just yapping about what somebody does with their fucking time. You know, yeah, what awesome. if she's gonna expose her? Yeah, she a toxic bitch. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> she would. <laughs> she would she put her on blast. Full crank like crank that bitch up on the speaker. And then Monica said something unexpected might happen. Mm. Yeah, Never know, guys. Uh, that bitch was eating. It's just some weird shit, bro. The fuck? Imagine, because, like, we know there's a twist, right? From the very beginning, before we even started up the game, we knew there was going to be a twist, right? Mm -hmm. Imagine playing this game, like, by yourself, right? Like, six years ago. You have no idea there's mm -hmm. a twist. You think it's just, you know, you're playing another visual novel. And then Monica says that for the first time. Like, what do you think? Bro, <laughs> I would have gotten so scared. <laughs> they would have been like, huh? The fuck does that have to do? And then when a bell doesn't even say anything, no answers. Nope, oh, Natsuki's a hater. Not bad, right? Why are you saving it, nigga? <laughs> hey, you hey, just scared hey, now? Monica told us to save. I'm saving. Because she said you never know when something unexpected might happen. I will take Monica's sure. advice, who seems to be otherworldly, I guess. Maybe. We're going to talk about otherworldly, more like utter nutty. What? <laughs> I... I like other, like you know, like she's not otherworldly. She's other, she's like nutty on another level type shit. Crazy, nutty means crazy. Okay. <laughs> no, don't say okay like that. You, you no, that means you interpret it in the wrong way. No, no, stop. I, it's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. Of course not. Anyway. The message is pretty straightforward in the poem. Yay. I doubt I have to explain it. <laughs> Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies. Ah, I, you just sound like a toxic bitch. What is it? What is this like, great thing that you're elaborating on? And it helps people realize how stupid they're being. It's crazy. I don't know she don't like anyone would agree that this that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Yeah. Do you know people like that? Of course. It's about how everyone thinks my... Huh? That doesn't matter. It can be about anything. Oh, she likes spiders. Maybe? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Yeah. That's like, okay. That makes sense. I don't think it's about spiders. See? See what I mean? She's like... That's bro, this has to do with row. Yuri. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or a guilty pleasure. 
No, I think she's talking about herself here. Really? Yeah, she's talking. Yeah, yeah she has like. So they all got something to hide? Maybe. Don't. Uh, I mean, I know plenty of things. Oh my god. Yes. No. Of what? what? Something to hide. No! No! Uh, it was food. Food. I was looking at food. Okay. I, I realized that sounded weird. <laughs> What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> I, was, I was on my phone and I just saw like a really good looking cheeseburger and I was like, oh my god, I need And I was just like, and then I realized that could be taken out of context because it sounded weird. My bad. I'm gonna start focusing on the again more on the video. That was wild. Okay. I we don't need any more mistakes. Are you watching videos of cheeseburgers because you're hungry? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> just videos of cheeseburgers. <laughs> 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 That's crazy. That's some crazy shit, Bill, honestly. <laughs> Wait, Abel, did you eat the cake last week? Oh, what yeah. Cake? Is that cake still? The Oreo cake. Oh, no, I didn't eat. I had to fight every day not to eat it. Is it gone, uh -huh. though? They finally finished it. It's gone, yeah. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Damn. Something uh -huh. that you're afraid of people find out. They'd make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Am right, bitch? <laughs> Who cares what someone likes, as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. I mean, I respect I everyone, except I respect everyone, every single person, no matter what you yeah. like. Yeah, I except no. For well, oh, yeah, except for furries. Furries are the only things that, yeah, they, they, that needs uh, to be, uh, about, that uh, needs uh, to be addressed. Are you forgetting the uh, 20 minute long conversation we had back during our uh, Coffin of Annie and Lele playthrough? Where we went off on cucks. Oh. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you should I didn't think that needed. Too. Yeah. Those are. That, that's not even add on to the list. That is like period. That, that's like existence. That's like, like. That's undeniable. That's undeniable. You put those down. <laughs> that is undeniable. But what's wrong with furries though? Like, isn't it the same thing as cosplaying? Uh... Mm. Like, I know what you mean. There are, like, there are some types of, like, furries that are into, like, kind of questionable things. But, I mean, people that just, like, dress up in their, like, fursonas. Like, isn't that just the same thing as a cosplayer? No, the you know, you know, when you, you know, cosplay. I'm pretty sure we uh, we may or may not no, have no, no, some no. furry She viewers, just disrespected. So how about we... <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Are you, are you going to say about how it's disrespecting cosplayers? Yes. Okay. When you, you cosplay, it, but... right... What you're trying to do is basically look as much like the fucking anime character that you like or whatever. Or you're trying to look as much as a character you're trying to represent. You know what I'm saying? Okay. With furries, they're literally trying to be something that you're not. You're not a, a fucking dog, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I know, and I'm not, and I know I'm not an anime character. If a furry was, was dressing up and they know they're not like an animal, you know what I'm saying? Or if they weren't disillusioned where they're like, oh, I'm actually... My name, so real name is like Rover, and I'm are dog. Insane, because they think they are no, no, no. dogs, or they want to be dogs. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, or they want to. Yeah, if you if you are a furry, and then it's not either of those things, and you just like you just like dressing up as an animal, that is I hate to use this word, acceptable. All right, yeah. just, <laughs> all right. But if you are like a disillusioned furry. And the same thing with cosplay. Like sometimes there's cosplayers that are fucking weird and they're like. That's what I'm saying. Like it goes both ways. Like there's also cosplayers that are really rare. fucking weird. That's rare. That's so rare. rare. I'm sorry. Rare. 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 <laughs> rare. I think it's equally rare. Common, honestly. No, nigga, you're smoking za. You don't. You don't. You don't. You've never. Have you ever been at an anime convention? Then you can't be saying. Oh, well, what the fuck I, do you think? No, you haven't. Yeah. I, oh. But the thing is, so, there's like have you been to a furry know. convention though? Because you can't hate on them unless you know. And I mean, I don't know what I'm saying. Like you know, you know, you know what I mean. I haven't been, but you can't I hate have on them. walked across. No, no, there was this one furry convention I saw a whole bunch of furries <laughs> walking around, and then I remember I took a good look, look at a glance, and I, I, it was enough for me to understand them niggas got something wrong with them. I, that was enough for me. But a lot like, of people say the same thing about anime cosplayers. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't. When I went to, when I went to an anime, when I saw it, it was there. Nobody was being weird. You know what I'm saying? The only weirdest thing you'll see is like a nigga who cross dresses. That's the only weird thing you'll see. Like you'll see a nigga that's like who put in way too much effort into looking like a woman. 
Okay, look. It, the only place I've it, seen furries is funny. on social media. And the only place I've seen anime cosplayers is on social media. So I'm telling you, it's like, for me, it's the same thing, you know? For you, it's the same thing. But yeah. Boy, there's and if you haven't been to a furry convention, how are you going to, like, compare a whole, like, what you saw at a furry convention to what you just see from furries on social media, you know? Okay. That's not that's not a fair okay, comparison. No, 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 no. Okay, the furries that I there. see on... You just have a point there. However, you, you can judge people even though you know nothing of the thing. But you do have a point with that point you made there, Nia. That specific point. That's true. Yeah. What was her specific point? What was their specific point? That you can't, you can't judge. Like you're, you're saying you're judging like anime cosplayers, like you know them, but you're comparing something that you know to something that you don't know, which is like the furry community or whatever, you know? Dude, even before then, even when I didn't know about cosplayers, if you were to, add, if you were to go on the internet and search about cosplayers and then search about furries, let me tell you something. True. I can't back a bell with that. That's true. Co you will see a lot more weirder shit with furries than a. Uh, Furries do. Even yeah. like normal ish furries, I guess. I, I yeah. I yeah, guess. I only like Dude, I was so sad when the odd one out turned out to be a furry. He doesn't Who? look, but he doesn't look like he's, you know, the odd one's out. Isn't that a YouTuber? Yeah. Yeah. That oh, one. The this, odd that one's nigga. Out. He's not a, okay, okay. Yeah. He's not a furry furry, but he does have like a furry outfit. And then I was like, come on, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like. What does this guy even do? Uh, what is this guy's channel? He's about? just a, it's he just animates and talks about shit. Dang, yeah, I've been watching this stuff. Holy kid. shit! Wait, what the fuck? Look at the yeah. views on his channel. Yeah. Is there even a single Dude, his, video with uh, under five million views? Oh, his subway series oh, is really ones. funny. <laughs> God damn, this is crazy. What the fuck? Is that him? Yeah. He's a normal looking yeah. guy. Yeah. Huh. Okay, what were we talking about? Furries? Cosplayers? Alright. Um, I don't know. I kind of agree with points that both of you guys are saying. But me as an outsider looking in, right? I don't know shit about cosplaying or furries. I can say that on the internet, cosplayers definitely have infinitely better reputation than furries do. And like, I guess that as a, as is a, again, true. as an outsider looking in, um, as somebody who knows nothing about cosplaying or furries or their communities, like, I do think cosplayers are like, just normal people who are like, you know. See, but also like. like they're, they're just normal ass people who want to dress up. Okay, like, okay. But see, obviously, media. in their like communities, right? Mm -hmm. I would consider their communities to be like just people who like to do that because it's fun for them or whatever. I wouldn't include like people who do bad and weird things in that community because I don't think that's what like the community as a whole would stand for. Like, obviously, there's weird people in everything, you know? Oh, but just because, like for example, just like with furries, there's it's one thing, right, to like simply want to dress up as a dog and like having yeah. a fursona, right? But it's a completely different yeah. thing to literally be sexually attracted to another species. Yes, like yes. I, that's not what I think of when I say like a furry. Like I, I just okay. think of a person okay. yeah, who yeah, likes yeah. to dress up. You know what I mean? I, I so that's why I think they're happen. both the same thing. I don't think okay, it's fair to include bad people into like a whole like like you know no, the reason the only reason like when it comes to the anime community right the only uh, never mind never mind never mind never mind never mind ah never mind what never mind never mind never mind never mind never mind never mind ah the gojo <laughs> bottle incident just ah the what ah oh my god never mind give me i had to go what? <laughs> wait search this shit up search this shit up what is he talking about is this what he said i think so I'm, I'm I'm afraid to click like uh, images. Uh, wait. Did you read that? What? Go back. Read that shit right there. Where this? Okay, wait. Sorry. On about... top. On top. On top. A girl squeezes her used tampon over a Gojo figurine, drenching it in her period blood, like squeezing a washcloth. Is that what it was, Abel? Ah, yeah. Okay. So we're talking about the cosplay community, not the anime community. Okay. All right, all right. All yeah, right, well, we're talking right, about right. cosplay so, here. Uh, yeah, Wait, yeah, I yeah. On images, I don't know. Is when there it... anything bad that showed up? Good, good, good. No, that's good, all we good, saw. Good, 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 good. Nothing inappropriate. Okay, we're good. Because so, uh, I, uh, sorry, uh, I, 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 um, I have a confession to make, guys. When we <laughs> made, when we made, when we made, which video was it? Fuck, I think it was this one. 
right? Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. When we made uh, this one, the Lacey video. Okay. When we made the Lacey video, and we got to, like, these parts right here, right? Uh-huh. We didn't see <laughs> that we recorded some some bad stuff. <laughs> we didn't like, record. I had, to, I had to blur it out after I uploaded the video. Hello? Yeah, I saw the comment. It was wild. Yeah, dude. Wait, what was it? It, it was it was like multiple, but there was one. Ashley's Ashley with her titties out, like straight up her titties out. Oh. And there was another one, Ashley, with like Andrew on top of her, and she's stroking him off. <laughs> like it's 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 ridiculous. It's honestly that ridiculous. was wild. And I had to censor them both after I uploaded the video, so it was very it was bad. Right. Damn. Yeah. I, I, it's funny how none of us three caught it while we recorded it. Like. <laughs> It's crazy. Mm, we're just desensitized, bro, at this point. Maybe, maybe. I, but here, though, with Natsuki, I agree. If someone's just into something that's, like, odd, but it's not hurting anybody, like, let them do their thing. Uh, I mean, it's going to hurt the dog. The family dog's going to be in pain. <laughs> that's not... Nah, the, the family dog's going to be... That's bad. <laughs> family dog's going to be happy. I'm just saying, you know, like... Not nah, if it's, like... Oh, if the dog's the one getting fucked, then yeah, definitely not. Yeah, no, nigga. <laughs> definitely not. And it's by like a blue. Okay, that's all right. Let's, no, let's, right, keep, right, going. let's right. keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Huh, that's funny. Yuri wrote something about this similar today. Uh, Yuri wrote something similar. It's about fine. We, we, got God, <laughs> we got the point. <laughs> huh? Did you say Yuri? Yeah. She said her poem was about the, an unusual hobby of hers. I didn't get it, but she said it was something similar to you. She said something similar to you. Blah, blah, blah. That people shouldn't make fun of each other. Oh, it shouldn't make each other feel insecure about those things. Really? Well, I mean, <laughs> Yuri's pretty weird. So I wouldn't doubt that she has some weird hobbies. <laughs> or what a fucking oh, hypocrite. <laughs> she's funny, she's funny. Worst girl, worst girl. Worst not funny. that there's anything wrong with that. Ooh. That's not like <laughs> okay. I would judge her or anything. Yeah, sure. Definitely. Natsuki has trouble finding words. What if one of them turns out to be a furry? I I guess I should not try to be so mean to her. Don't say anything such horrendous. It's like saying, what if one of them turns out to be a Nazi, bro? Chill out. Hi, <laughs> Abel. <laughs> Abel, Abel, we might Just because they fans, got a right? thing for you. <laughs> chill, 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 hey, chill. I don't hate anyone. These are all jokes. <laughs> That's true. All jokes. All jokes. All jokes. Definitely. Definitely. Except for the Gojo incident. That was wild. <laughs> if she feels insecure about her weird behaviors and stuff. I mean, I always hate people who make me feel insecure. And you made me feel insecure yesterday. Oh my god. <laughs> but the way you put it, it sounds like she's learned her lesson. This girl. Well, I'd say so. Even if her writing style is di really different, I'm sure she'll appreciate the message in your poem. It's what I do best, after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like, conveying emotions is important. But I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that. Remember that. I'm going to write a good one for tomorrow, too. So look forward to it. Oh, no, it's her! It's her! <laughs> mm. Okay, everyone. I'm scared. We're, wait. <laughs> what if we come back and she's like, like, good job? <laughs> Good job. No, what, you, what if she's like, nigga, quit saving so much, nigga? I'm like, oh, <laughs> We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today. So if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. <laughs> nice. Is the nice. female voice really that hard? No, I was just pausing because uh, I'm not liking where this is going. Yeah. No. Oh, is this about the festival? Well, sort of. But yeah, it is that hard of Ugh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I feel like Monica's about to go off. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Three days is enough time, nigga. Don't worry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to be Monica, go ahead. Get no, no, no. Already. <laughs> Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? 
We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters, and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Oh, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. How Yuri's like not very social, so she <laughs> does not like that at all. Mm, I don't blame her, dude. Yeah, look at her face. Um, Monica? Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Sayori's putting it all on the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> Sayori, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't, you didn't already start putting up those posters, did you? Huh? Well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea, but I didn't sign up for this, you know? There is no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I agree with the Natsuki. <laughs> I could never, in, in my life, do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. God. No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, I st- What? I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, Oh, she's like, you're going to do it anyway, bitch. And it will inspire others to do the same. She really just fucking gaslit them. Like, yeah, she gaslit guys, them the <laughs> I'm sorry, but we got to do it. <laughs> I heard your points, but I don't care. We're going to do it. Anyway. <laughs> and yeah. the more people who perform, the better <laughs> we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. She's like, if you get people to join this one time, you won't have to do it next year. <laughs> yeah. It's about expressing your feelings. Being intimate with yourself. Yeah, Finding new know. horizons. What? Say that shit, though. Say it again. Say that shit. I was like, nah, nah, nah. I don't even know what I was going to say. I was going to be like, <laughs> intimate with myself. I was like, yeah, yeah, but yeah, nah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, good for them. And having fun. Yuri's gonna like, drop dead on the stage. That's Dude, right. This chair. Dude, Monica gets her way, doesn't she? And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Bro, Yuri's gonna jump off the school just to not perform. <laughs> Don't you want to share that with others? Yeah, Yuri's also the one who had a. Uh, when we clicked suicide for the poem, she jumped. Yeah. To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. Oh, gaslighting <laughs> them. <laughs> She's like, you do. I know we all do. Oh, fuck. We're all in this together, guys. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Hmm. Oh, no. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayori looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. Monica's so... What is that word? She makes me feel uneasy. Yeah. And it's like it's like the character like, design, too. Like, none of the other three characters make me feel... She feels robotic, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, what you expect from the... I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. And they're going to be like, you know what about you, right? I have been <laughs> I've been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a bit. Well, maybe, but... It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Ooh. <laughs> she always stutters. Okay, fine. I guess I'll have to get it over with. All right. Phew. Why is she saying phew when, uh, when Yuri still hasn't said yes? And you're gonna fucking make her, I mean... bro. Thanks, Natsuki. You had no choice anyway. What about you, Yuri? 
Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. Oh, this is like a nightmare scenario for her. Huh. <laughs> I I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> That's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Ooh. Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, don't just completely like cast her to the side. Let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. <laughs> no way. Monica? <laughs> th this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. <laughs> Can I go next? <laughs> of course. That giggle was such a girly pop giggle. A <laughs> <laughs> girly Now, let's see. <laughs> Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. <clears throat> Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Nothing about Natsuki? Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. <clears throat> Monica oh wait, there's breath. four of them. Yeah. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That, that was so good, Monica. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? Oh! Oh, shit! Uh, I'll go next. Wow! Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. Okay. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. This girl's acting like she's gonna go to fucking war. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. Typical autistic girl behavior. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It's called... After image of a crimson eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As it's a Yuri... fucking love confession. <laughs> Imagine. As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost <laughs> like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Nice. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. Nice. Okay. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. Oh, cooking. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snacks. Oh, snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Not snacks. Yuri snaps <laughs> back into reality and glances around her as if she bewildered even herself. I. It's up to me to save I, this situation. I'm right, first bro. to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterward and we give Yuri the recognition she, she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. Off guard. That's a clue from the game. I'm saving. What do you mean off guard? I don't get it. Something I'm expected might happen. Uh, I'm definitely just like being paranoid, but fuck it. <laughs> As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. <laughs> she's so sweet. She's definitely second best girl. Natsuki's last and Monica doesn't even count because she's like something else. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is done for the count. Okay. I guess I'm next then. Sayori hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. Ugh, I fucked that up. This one's called My Meadow. Ah. <laughs> okay. Sorry. 
I giggled. <laughs> <laughs> Sayori. <laughs> it's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Ah, try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror, or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. Did somebody mute? No. A bell? I think a bell muted. Should wait. Yeah, oh. what's up? Oh, he's back. He was watching more cheeseburgers. How did you, <laughs> okay. cheeseburger How did you know I was <laughs> muted? Because <laughs> it makes a little sound, like a little like popping sound whenever you mute and unmute. I see. Oh. I see. Okay, then. Let's go, Sayori. Let's go. Sayori begins her poem. Somehow, it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. Ah. This poem, this poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. Uh... I like this. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finishes. And we applaud. <laughs> I did it. Good job, Sayori. <laughs> Even a bell liked it. What does that mean? <laughs> it, it seems almost like she's saying that to herself more than to uh, the people listening. I guess that's a good sign. <laughs> what does that mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. <sighs> the atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Interesting. What's interesting? Mm. Hating? Eh? I don't understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. Do you? I don't. Uh, That's... Well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do in front of everyone. <laughs> the next time, I'm going to make you... Pick a poem that challenges you a little more. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> we don't have much time before the festival, you know? Okay. Now, who's next? Natsuki? <laughs> a bell still hasn't gone. <laughs> don't make me go before a bell. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Go. Oh my god. <laughs> Might as well let a bell lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. That's crazy. Natsuki! Be nice to her crush. <sighs> Be nice to my man. It's yeah. fine. It's, um, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, you said- <laughs> <laughs> You said that in the girl voice. Right. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> crazy. I'm That's just crazy. more dedicated than y'all. <laughs> I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what, I, what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's a less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing, which is what he just said. Interesting, Monica. Maybe you can mind read. That's something you'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. All right, then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... <laughs> Why are y'all looking at me? Uh, little Pipsqueak's getting nervous. Because you're presenting. <clears throat> anyway, the poem is called Junk. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You'd better not make me do that again. Ah, uh, well, do 
you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, I'm doing it in front of other... Oh, wait. I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. She's blushing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case... You won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I probably should, I probably should find some other poem to recite then. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me feel really happy. I just remember what you said, Nia, about how, like, yeah. you live your life <laughs> you just do that dumbass pose. <laughs> uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. She's gonna be like, what are you saving? <laughs> Why aren't you saving? I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up. But let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. Damn, working overtime here. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish. Uh, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. I oh, I can't. I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> bro, I need to take a shit, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, we're an hour and 43 in. About Just wait until we're done with the day and then uh, go take a shit. Done with the day? Yeah, yeah. We're almost we're like, no, done with the day, like in game. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. I stand up. I hope the twist doesn't happen right now because the bell has to take a shit. He probably shit himself. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <his shit himself. laughs> Imagine, I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Siri and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. It's for the sake of the club. And imp and <laughs> oh, wow, no. right Impress Sayori, not Monica. Then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, uh, ready to go Sayori? Yep. Oh. Look at you two. Always going home together like that. Oh, shit. Exactly. Damn, they're all fucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, so they're yeah. like, okay, let's go home, and they all fucking gang up on us. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> oh, she's not denying it. <clears throat> Jeez, guys. <laughs> Don't make such a big deal out of it. Yuri's not here though. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it must be a little nice though. Well, uh. How am I supposed to respond to that? Maybe by getting with Sayori, you dumb monkey? Oh! Huh? It's okay, Abel. You don't have to say it. What? Say what? Whatever. Let's just go. Already. I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori. Ah. Uh -huh. Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, uh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to, I mean... Sayori fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day, Yuri asked to walk home with you. Oh, shit! Huh? What would you do? Oh! What kind of question is that? You're putting me on, you kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> I would still walk home with Sayori. It has to be the one in the bottom. <laughs> bottom, bottom, bottom. Which bottom. One? Which one? <laughs> walk with Sayori. Sayori. Oh, what is going on here, bro? <laughs> Maybe we should have paused so I could go take a shit. <laughs> nah, I don't need to take a shit just to know what I'm saying, nigga. I know it's, I, I'm walking home with Sayori. All right, let's Because I'll be damned if I have to talk with myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason. For real. <laughs> This benefits Man. all of us. Sayori. Sayori. Monica's about to pop up. <laughs> Why are you saving so much? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go. You'd really think I would ditch you for Sayori? You, for Yuri? Huh? B but she's so beautiful and smart. 
Jeez. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> oh! I already see you in the club every day. Besides, you always seem to really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. That for you. <sighs> <laughs> no, bruh. You're so silly, Abel. What? You, you think about me too much sometimes. Ah. I don't like that. You're the one who asked. I don't like that. Yuri would deserve it if she wanted it. So. Say, Ari. I already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point in speculating something that never is going to happen? <clears throat> the conversation trails off. What do you mean it trails off? It's kind of a weird thing for Sayori to care so much about. But I want to respect her and keep her happy too. And again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that- Ah, oh, no. <laughs> That's not good. Mm. That's definitely the game talking to us. Oh, man. All right, well- that is all. Abel's gotta go take a shit. Abel's gonna go shit. I gotta go it's take a shit. An hour and fifty minute long fucking. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill myself. For her. Oh, I can't say that on YouTube. I'm gonna uh, do bad stuff to myself if I have to re fucking edit that. <laughs> <sighs> what did you guys think? Thought especially it was pretty good. How the game is going, and especially with what fucking Monica said there, like towards the middle. Yeah, she was going. She was scaring me a bit. Guys, I got scared. Yeah. I'm not even gonna lie. I've never really played a horror game. But like during horror movies, I never get scared, right? Never. Like I could be in a dark room mm -hmm. by myself with a headset on, right? And I, I, I don't give a fuck. But like, I actually, I, I was feeling a little something there when uh, <laughs> when Monica was like saying all that shit. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Wait, yeah. I know I keep asking, but like, is this game like actually like a scary game? Or is it just like I, uh... I, I know, listen, I know what Abel told me. You guys remember uh, mm -hmm. like back when we were choosing which game we're gonna play, and we like kind of mm -hmm. mm -hmm. had like a short glimpse into every single game. I, I yeah. know that Abel said that this game has a twist, and that it's the scariest out of all of our options. Yeah, I, also, I remember I also know that. What the comment section has said that there's definitely a twist. See, because like that scared me, or like it creeps me out. Because when I think about it, if this is gonna be a scary game, mm -hmm. it can be like you know, like someone dies, or you know, or like a jump scare or something, right? Yeah. But like when the characters start coming more like what's it called? Like like Abel said sentient, like that's like whoa, like cause, <laughs> cause you're not expecting it at all, you know? Like I'm thinking it's a scary game, oh like I don't know, you know, someone's yeah. gonna freaking die. But, Dude, but but the thing is Monica has always seemed like that, even from the beginning. She's always given me like a That's true. I feel like, because yeah. you guys notice, like, when we're in the game, like, the facial expressions of the other three yeah. guys change a lot. Like, a lot. Yeah. But Monica yeah, never like, changes. Ever. When I was thinking at the lineup, yeah. they were all just standing there. Monica, she's just looking straight forward at us. Yeah, yeah. And everyone else is doing something. Yeah, like, her face never changes. Her pose changes less than the other ones. She only has, like, two poses. It's the one where she's, like, breaking, jumping in the air. And yeah. then the... And then the normal Straight one. forward. Yeah. And her face never changes, ever. Like, at all. Yeah. It sometimes changes, but very rarely. Yeah, I mean, it changes when she's talking sometimes, especially towards, towards the other girls. But, like, well. her face changes a lot less compared to the other three. There's not a lot of, like, emotions. Yeah. Like, if you look at Yuri and uh, Natsuki, and, well, and Sayori, they all have, like, you know, it goes along with their personalities. Yeah. But, uh, what's her name? Monica. Okay. Monica, she, she Monica like, she's so, yeah. like, bland. Yeah. And also, like, there's no way to explain what she said. It was yeah. almost like she was, like, a computer, like, saying something at the wrong area, you know? And then she corrected mm -hmm. her. She's like, oh, what am I even talking about? Am I even talking about writing? <laughs> I don't know. It was, it was a little weird. A little weird. No, also, another thing the comment section spoiled for me is that there's multiple endings. Oh, uh, there I are? I kind of knew that already, but, like, I wasn't 100% sure, but then the comments were like, yeah. Uh, oh, wait, by the way, by the way, guys, mm -hmm. let me tell you what I was looking at earlier that got me, like, that was, like, this <laughs> nice, oh, let me show you the cheeseburger. I sent it. You just, yeah. This was the, that was, <laughs> was, where Robin had, like, a triple cheeseburger, and I was like, oh, yeah. Uh, okay, well, you know, See, like, uh, okay, but I see that. How are you even going to enjoy that? You can't <laughs> bite that. Unless you got the fucking, yeah. like, above then your job must be something else, you know? Yeah. But <laughs> you can't enjoy that. Bruh, I don't know how you wouldn't be able to enjoy that, nigga. All you need to do... How are you going to fit it in your mouth, bro? The same thing I no. did with a burger, bro. You just squish that bitch and then you shove it, just shove it down your gullet. I mean, that's true. The, the, okay. the picture is a little, like... Like, no burgers ever going to look like that. That shit's as big as the cup. 
<laughs> Does anyone have the photo of that? Uh, uh the that one time I made the the don't like I squished all those donuts together. 